Fair to say that that late goal on Saturday has completely changed the complexion of this tie going into the second leg. Yeah, I, th I think it has. Yeah, I think it has in terms of yeah, the feelings after the game, both sets of fans, both sets of players and staff. Um, don't change the fact that we need to go there and win. So, you know, our um, outlook on that's exactly the same. So, yeah, we, we know what we've got to do. We've got to go in there and put in a performance. Did you sense a, a bit of a, a boost to the players? There was their coming back in afterwards that, you know, a 2 1 versus 2 0, it's a much better scoreline to take there. It, yeah, it is. Um, we have to go there and win, as I said, but yeah, while ever the game's at 2 1, down at the city ground, it suits us, you know, the longer it goes on, the edginess, that type of thing. Uh, if there's still a two goal deficit, we are, we are on the front foot a lot earlier, we are, so yeah, it's um, in from that aspect, uh, it certainly suits uh, the away team that little bit better. Um, yeah, it means you don't have to go chasing as early. It, there's always an edgy moment in the game. Uh, so yeah, from from that respect, it, it certainly did change the not the approach of us, but the uh, I think the, the, the mentality, the uh, the feelings in both camps. Do you need to make this a very different game on Tuesday compared to what happened on Saturday? And if so, how easy or difficult is it to do that in just a few days? Yeah, uh, we need to the score line. We play a certain way. Forest play a certain way. They're really good on the counter, you know. Um, so they'll be comfortable if they have the ball, uh, if we have the ball, and, and they want to look and try and exploit gaps. So we have to be better at that. We said that straight after the game. Like so, like was I'd be comfortable if they had the ball. We've took away that counter threat. You know, if they've got the ball, so I'm comfortable if they've got it. Um, but looking back at the game, uh, we certainly had enough of the ball um, and enough entries and, and ball in their final third, our attacking third, um, to have done more with it. Uh, so. Yeah, that's the big thing for me. We, we we know what their big threat is. We need to deal with it better, and we need to do more. Yeah. So if I'm looking back over the the course of the season and, and at key moments and in games, uh, we we've certainly been better in those areas when when we've had the ball than we were at the, at the weekend. Is that really the key to maybe limiting the number of counter attacks they have? You know, just being maybe a little bit better in possession in this game. No. No, it's sort of the opposite. You have to be better away from the ball. So we, you know, you look at possession. We've had so many games where we've had a lot more ball than we did at the weekend, but didn't get counted. You know, that's what I mean. The way it sets up, we're a team that do have the ball, uh, and every time you've got the ball, you're vulnerable to a counter. So it's that first pass. It's the, it's the organisation behind the ball, um, and what Forest do, they did really well the other day. Counted well, defended the box well. Um, and, and that's that's the the thing that we have to change. We have to be better at what we can do. Both teams had chances on Saturday. Is it, is it just going to be that kind of game again? Are both teams, with the way that they play, going to have a lot of chances, or is there anything you can do to maybe limit those, not just the counter attacks, but limit the chances that they create? Well, it's counter attacks. That's what it was. Listen, we're we're really disappointed with the first goal. Two things happen that, that don't happen. They didn't play through us. Um, in that moment, they have played through. It's two big errors from our point of view, but they, all the other chances were counter attacks. So, you know, I keep saying it. We know what the threat is. We've got some good players whose first thought is to run forwards and to play forwards. Um, and we, we need to be set up in a better way and mentality to, to deal with that and recognise what we're up against a good side. Um, in terms of us having the ball, we'll, we'll have it. You know, we'll have moments we have the ball, certainly. Um, and we need to be good enough and brave enough. Um, in that final third to uh, to take the chances that we create and just like Saturday it's always about moments the first goal for an away team who counter-attacks sets up the game perfectly for them you know we started the game great the weekend um, 30 minutes gone they got in our box three times one's bash slid the cross away the other two were crossing and they scored from them mm -hmm. apart from that we were on the front foot front foot playing the goals, the first goal changes it. You know, if we'd have got the one that headed off the line straight after those type of things, it's even Steven. So, and so it'll be the same. It'll be the same. That's why the, the difference in scoreline two 0 to two one is a big thing for me because it still gives that moment, that first goal. Um, and while ever there's a goal in it, it's uh, yeah, we know how edgy it can be, we know how nervous it can be, um, and we know how good we are. We have been at chasing. We've been chasing all season, so.
it's not a different position for us to be in this. Mm. And I suppose if you start well, maybe even get the first goal, it can create some doubt, some worry amongst that crowd because they've gone from being sort of 2-0 up and thinking it's going to be 2-0, yeah. to 2-1 right before the end. And then if you score first, they'll yeah. be thinking, oh dear. That's, that's the aim. But that doesn't have to be in the first minute. It really doesn't. And likewise, they get the first goal. As long as we get the next one, we're back to where we are now, which is that, that fine balance. So, yeah, there the, the will be key moments in the game. There will be. Hopefully, they go our way. You know, because you, you hear the saying, goals change games. So just as that first goal when we're on top sets it up perfect for a counter-attacking team, their first goal, our goal at the end has changed the dynamic again. This is a big opportunity, isn't it? I mean, if you go there and win... People have been talking about the Forest game a year for mm. 20 years. You know, if you go there and win and get to Wembley, they'll talk about this as well. Listen, they, they're with 90 minutes away from, from Wembley, 90 minutes away from the biggest game in football, I call it, because it's the prize of the Premier League. Fantastic, great opportunity, right? and everyone should be delighted that we're here and we're, and we're playing and we're competing. Um, so I say, and, and, listen, that was a thought after the game. It's not a league game where, you, where you've lost and that's gone and you've lost three points. It's half time and we're 90 minutes away from potentially being at Wembley. So, yeah, that, that's our approach. That's how we're approaching it. Um, and everyone will give everything to get there. Mm. A bit more pressure on them. You know, they're at home, they've got the lead. Does that give you a bit of freedom? Well, as I said, we've got not freedom because we know it's at stake, big game, but what have we got to lose? We've been, we've been in this position, like I said, from, from day one, chasing, chasing, chasing. Uh, so it's no different to us. We're used to this. That's fine. Comfortable with it. We just know we've got to deliver. And like I say, it's, it's, it's 90 minutes. 90 minutes away from potentially a, a, a huge game. Um, so yeah, we it's clear what we have to do. As I said, city ground and win. Uh, and we're ready. We're prepared. We've, we've done all we can. We've recovered well. The boys are ready to go. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. It's an exciting opportunity, isn't it? I mean, it's easy to sort of think, well, you've lost the first leg and be a bit down about it. But as, as you say there, it's a chance to get to Wembley, isn't it? Something that players dream of, really. Yeah, we've got we've got some in our group with a lot of playoff experience and some who have not been in there before. And it is unique. Like I say, I think, I think the players who haven't been in it before have got their heads around what it is. Yeah, you, it's half time. We, we, it's like Luke being behind it, uh, you know, in 45 minutes half time. We haven't lost the game because it's a tie, it's two legs. 2-1 um, at the end of a league game, you, you've lost, it's gone. You, you don't get the points, like I say. And I think for the ones who haven't been in that position before, it's getting your head around that. So you, you soon have to be over the disappointment, you know, and ready to go because there's still everything to play for. Um, luckily, we've got enough people as well who've had a lot of experience in the playoffs and, yeah, they're... They understand that, and like I say, I think everyone's got their head around it now from yesterday morning to where we are now, um, and everyone understands the position we're in and what's at stake. And you've been in these positions before as a player and as a manager. What are they like? You know, what are, what are sort of the experience that you can pass on to maybe some of your younger players? What can they expect at the City Ground? The atmosphere is going to be fantastic from the start, you know, because we, we, you're playing away just as it was at Bramall Lane into the Lions Den. You know, it's going to be. Going to be loud, going to be noisy, but that's it. You got to embrace it. Um, I, me as a player, I always preferred away games anyway when I played. But you know, it's different on the sideline. The thing about noise is you can't get information on that from my point of view. But listen, I spoke about. I think every one of my promotion playoffs, we won the second leg, which was away from home. Every one, all three of them. Um, uh, that's it. It's different. It, it's different. It, we can win any game. We can win any game. We've been away and won. We've been away and won all over the place. We've got to do it again now against a good side. We know it's a good side, but that's it. Um, so yeah, we're, we're ready to go. Finally, on, on injuries, is anybody available for this game who perhaps wasn't available at the weekend? There's only Bill with a chance to be available and feature in the playoffs. So he's, he's, we're doing all we can with him. Um, the rest of the boys, we know they were sort of ruled out for the season. Hmm. Is there any hope at all for fans that maybe he could even be on the bench in this one and, and have Listen, a role to like, play? We'd, we'd like to be. If he was ready, we'd do it. Yeah, 